Patrol crews are trying to find the driver who hit two teenagers while they were just riding their skateboards in Seminole County. That crash left one of the victims in a medically induced coma. News 6 reporter Mark Lehman has more from their classmates who came together today to pay their respects. The hit and run has left family and friends of the victims feeling helpless. That's why so many came together here today offering prayers for both teens as they recover. We, as a class, we loved Omar and we wanted to show our respect by coming here together. Jose Carbonell is speaking about his close friend Omar Galarza. The 18-year-old just graduated from Altamont Christian School a few months ago. He now has a serious brain injury. It's just really tough for everybody here. Troopers say Galarza and 19-year-old Brandon Key for riding their skateboards down Lake Howell Road Saturday night. Then, without warning, a driver hit them both and kept going. It's really sad that he just left those two victims just on the street. While friends gathered here today in prayer, family members have been using social media in their desperate search to find whoever was driving. They're trying to spread the word and hoping it will help troopers with their investigation. Keefe was released from the hospital on Sunday, but Galarza still remains in a medically induced coma. We have sent him so much love and we just hope for the best that he recovers real fast. Finding the driver and answers to why this happened is so important to the family and everyone who were here at this morning's prayer service. As the search continues for that driver, troopers are asking anyone with information on the hit and run to contact the highway patrol. For now, reporting in Altamont Springs, Mark Lehman, News 6.